Hello, my name is Blair Henderson and I'm going to present to everyone about how to make such an amazing website like BuzzFeed even better than it already is. I have some suggestions that I'm going to show you throughout this presentation that I think would help a lot. BuzzFeed, as you know, is a website that consists of many different types of articles. It has news articles, quizzes, lifestyle articles, tasty videos and recipes, fun silly articles as well. Some from each category are shown here as an example. Just to boost our ego a little bit, let's see in numbers how great BuzzFeed is doing right now. 215 2 million total visits, 9 million monthly views, 15% of the visitors on the website are between 18 and 34 years old, and the average user time spent on the website is 3 minutes and 40 seconds. It's great to see how well we are doing. The United States has around 44% of the traffic, Brazil 6, UK 6, Japan 5, Canada 4, and also 39.55% of traffic on the website is from our social media. However, I think we could do even better and create an even bigger BuzzFeed empire. So here I have some suggestions on how I think we can build that empire. Here we have a screenshot of what our user sees when they log onto our BuzzFeed website today. The navigation is at the top. There are stickers on the top right that show articles with these reactions if you click on them. And below there are images of different articles that you can click on. A big headlining news story and an ad to the left. My opinion is that this layout looks too hectic, so it's so much information on the page that I gets confused for what to click on. The bar of photos at the top looks too busy, the featured story needs to be more prominent, stand out more, and the ad takes way too much space. This is a clean mock-up I made quickly with some suggestions that I think would help BuzzFeed look more clean and organized and distract the eye less when a user comes to visit our website. As you can see, the picture bar at the top is gone, which creates less confusion. The stickers are placed below the logo, which the featured article is bigger and stands out more. The ad is taken away and moved down, so the trending art now section can move up and be seen. It is always good to look at our competitor's website to see what you like about it and what you don't, as well as what is working for them and isn't. what isn't. Today, we are going to look at the homepage of The Onion's website. They have a clean layout that I think would be nice to implement into our design and that like one that I put into my mock-up. When I look at their website, my eye doesn't get confused or where to look because it is clean. That's the thing I think BuzzFeed um, needs to implement and BuzzFeed does better having a big featured article. Now let's talk about the one thing that everyone loves, everyone has, and everyone low-key is addicted to, social media, like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and all that fun stuff. We have an amazing social media presence. 10 million likes on Facebook, 6 million followers on Twitter, and 3 million followers on Instagram. BuzzFeed is doing amazing in all three with 39.6% of traffic coming from social media. It's great. To help boost our numbers in social media and get more users to the website, I believe we need to post intriguing content about current and relevant articles on the page and articles that are already written on our page and trending currently. An example of the majority of the posts on Twitter and Instagram are one-liners about how Mondays are a drag or hump days on Wednesdays. These are great posts, but we need to post content that is more intriguing to highlight articles already posted. Therefore, more people want to visit the website and traffic would increase. To see what we are doing right or wrong, let's look at the Onion's Instagram page to compare. They do not have as big of a social media following as we do, and they only have 1.7 million followers, post more facts, and has a more serious vibe to their website and social media page. Now let's recap and summarize what I have presented to you so far today with all my suggestions that I have. The current content on the website is fun and relatable. It currently looks busy. The photo bar distracts from the content on the main front page and the ad takes up a prime spot on the page above the fold. The featured story needs to be showcased more and we need to make it look cleaner. In regards to social media, current, we're currently doing great with 39.6% of the website coming from social media. Some suggestions would be to post more content that relates back to the current and trending articles on the website and try to increase the percentage of traffic to the website from social media. So thank you so much for listening and I hope you like all the suggestions I made today. Hopefully we can incorporate them soon into our website or even incorporate parts. Again, my name is Blair Henderson. Thank you so much.